You don't have to. Oh, you have to try her eggs, Mom. They're fantastic. You are a guest, Chandra. I should be making breakfast for you. Please, I love cooking, especially oh. for Joshy. Just let her cook, Ma. No! You sit down and you let me. I'm gonna make a big breakfast for everyone, and you relax. I'm fine. Actually, Mom, Chandra makes the best scrambled eggs of her taste. Yeah, what is it that you put in them? Anyway, it's like a... It's a secret. Oh, it's great. Great secret. They're, They're amazing. amazing. They're, They're amazing, amazing eggs. eggs. Like, it's like... insane. Well, eggs are never amazing. Just eggs. Whoa. Well, my eggs are good. Josh loves my ass. Excuse me? Nothing. <laughs> and nothing like experiencing oh. other people's awkward family moments. That was a scene from <laughs> Less Than Kind, and our next guest plays the role of Chandra. Lisa DeRue, how are you? I'm good. Good. You? So, um, awkward family moment there. Patrick says it's a lot like his family. Wow, thanks a lot, Fiona. <laughs> was now my mom will never that call. Out loud? Uh, tell us a little bit about Less Than Kind, because it's really full of those moments. Uh, Less Than Kind is a fabulous, fabulous show that is filmed in Winnipeg, written about Winnipeg. A guy from Winnipeg wrote it, who eventually moved to Toronto, meeting into a play which got picked up by the um, National Screen Institute. Mark McKinney got on board and now it's, it's a reoccurring show there. But it's basically the life, it's kind of, it's based slow, a little bit on reality of the writer, Marvin Kaye. It's about a 15 year old, well now 16 year old guy who's, it's hard enough going through Teen years. Yeah, yeah. exactly, yeah. right? But he's a very heavy guy. Yeah. So it's kind of the ins and outs of his family who own a corrupt car dealership and, and they're a very... They own a corrupt... Car deal... Or not car dealership, um, uh, driving school. Mm -hmm. okay. Driving school, yeah. So there's a, there's a whole level of that that goes on, not only just the family being dysfunctional, but the actual business kind of being Tell us about your character, Chandra. Oh, she's great. I, uh, <laughs> I'm biased. I love, I love, tell us about your I character. I love her. Will I ever um, tell you about who yeah. I play? <laughs> no, she's great because every girl's crazy. We're all crazy. It's We know we are. It's what yes, we're allowed we to Yes, we are. Be. Thank you. But it's the ones that don't admit it that are a little bit uh -uh. So she's basically every little girl's you know, evil voice. So you see couples fighting in a parking lot and you're just going, oh my God, she's that girl. She'll basically say whatever she wants. <laughs> um, she's kind of referred to as a villain, but I, I say that I personally don't think she's a villain because that would mean she's malicious. She's just and being her. Thank you. Exactly. She's kind of like <laughs> if she was a superhero, her power would be manipulation and it would be awesome. Patrick, we'll turn to you. Are <laughs> women crazy? Not at all. Women are beautiful flowers. Liars. <laughs> <laughs> That's a way. Now, this show is filmed in Winnipeg. Yeah. Winnipeg is your home. Uh, that doesn't it was my home. It was your home until two months ago. Yes. Uh, but that doesn't hap happen often to people. And no. then they just move to Vancouver when they get a job in Winnipeg. Yeah. Uh, maybe you can explain <laughs> that decision. Um, well, I was really fortunate. The Winnipeg arts community was really good to me. It's, it's a great community for theater, for film, everything. But it was just kind of one of those moments where you realize it's time to kind of try your hand with the bigger jobs or, or try, you know, kind of run with the big dogs, if you will. So it was just time to try experience a little bit of um, maybe juicier, meatier mm -hmm. arts community. So, well, yeah. We just lost Winnipeg. Uh, <laughs> so. I love Winnipeg, I do. <laughs> See, I, I love Winnipeg as well, because I'm originally from Thunder Bay. Yeah. and uh, Which is close I, to Winnipeg? No, oh, yeah, I like was, seven if, hours away. You know, Are Fiona, you sure? if you could let me finish talking, <laughs> this would really help. Women are crazy. The <laughs> Go ahead. I have no opinion. Yes. I'm sorry. I'm just waiting. I am allowed to speak. There you okay. Go. <laughs> uh, no, I was just going to say I grew up in Thunder Bay and we would go to Winnipeg for a day trip because it was the big smoke and we would That's go true. there and it was exciting because Winnipeg was like a big version of Thunder Bay. It's a yeah. city with a small town. Yeah, and feel. you can get anywhere in 20 minutes. I mean, it's got everything you could possibly need, but yet it still feels. It, it's small enough to feel like a small town, but it's big enough to be a city, if that makes sense. How is the adjustment to Vancouver? Because Vancouver's pretty sprawled out compared to Winnipeg. Uh, it's not as, like, yeah. tiny. Yeah, it, uh, it was actually pretty easy. The one thing that I was a little bit worried about is we got rid of our car to come out here because everyone's like, you don't need a car, you don't need a car. Those and people are idiots. Yeah, <laughs> true, true, true. So, yeah, but uh, <laughs> I ended up, I love the SkyTrain and I love taking the bus and it's something that Winnipeg isn't totally friendly for that because it is so cold too. <laughs> it's freezing. Uh, yeah. It's freezing cold and there's a lot of mosquitoes in the summer, but but I still love it. Um, so, yeah, it's it's definitely, it's going well. Right downtown at the first first day, I think, was a little bit like, <gasps> walk out of your door yeah. and you see, like, all these... I think anybody's like that when yeah. you move to a new place, though. Yeah, well, and it's right downtown Yaletown, and everyone's got nice. a dog, and it's a little bit overwhelming. And, and it must be fun uh, being in Vancouver and trying to get into the scene when you come from a show 
such as this that is fun. It is funny. Yeah, it's funny though because not a lot of people know about it out here. Wow, so it's, good for yeah, you. Yeah. Way, to, <laughs> way to promote the show. No, that's why we're here. Trust me. Oh, Trust me. right. Of yeah, course. Yeah. <laughs> no, it, but that's the thing. Like, I, it's it's a great show, and and I think people will start to pick up on it by the second season is going to air either November or into January, I mm -hmm. think. I, I would say the best comparison to the show is it's like the Canadian version of Modern Family or Arrested, Arrested Development. Arrested Development, yes, yeah. okay, good, you get and it. And <laughs> it, it is, it's a Canadian version of Arrested Development, so yeah. if, uh, if you enjoy Arrested Development, if you enjoy uh, Modern Family, then you will love less than kind. You will. Thank you so much for joining Thank us and welcome to Vancouver. Me. Thank you. Uh, we are going to take a quick break and when we return, um, you like magic tricks, don't you? I do. You do. <laughs> well, Sean I Farquhar like. is going to be joining us. He's the first Canadian to win a Grand Prix at the World Champion of, Championship of Magic and he's going to be joining us right after this. Stay tuned.